In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Amosuite software on a Windows PC. And so this actually applies to all of the software inside of the Amosuite product. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate this with one of the software and it's going to be the Amatop product analyzer. But the procedure I show you in, in this video is exactly the same for all the other software products. So once you log in to your account, once you log into your members area, and you go to the corresponding software, so that you'll see the list listed up here just under software. I've gone to the uh, top product analyzer and you'll see these green buttons here. There's one for your PC and also one for a Mac computer. Now I do want to specify that these software products are desktop only. So they only work on a desktop computer or a laptop, but they are not mobile apps. So they will not work on like an iPhone or an iPad or an Android tablet or an Android smartphone. So this is just desktop software. So let's go ahead and what you want to do is you want to download it from here. So simply click the download download here link right here under Windows uh, download. So go ahead and click that and it'll just bring up your wherever you want to download it. And if you're not sure where to download it, I usually just uh, go along the left hand side here and just select on downloads and just download it in the download folder. Or if you don't want to do there, you can actually just download to your desktop or wherever you want on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and just save it there. And I'm using the uh, Chrome web browser. And you can see down here it tells me that I actually downloaded the file. And if I click here, I can actually open it up in the folder. I can show in folder like that. And it'll show me right where I downloaded it. I do want to talk about this a little bit here. Sometimes you will see, you may see a warning down here. Uh, for Chrome in specifically, it, I'm not sure if you see the same warning in Firefox, I can't remember. But if you see a little warning there saying something like, oh, this is not a trusted file or not a recognized file or something like that, um, you don't have to worry about that. That's just sort of like a precautionary thing that the um, you know Chrome has built into their web browser as well as Firefox. There's actually nothing wrong with our software. There'll never ever be a virus within our software at all ever period no matter what I designed the software from scratch myself so I know there's definitely no viruses in my software and I also upload the setup files to the Amazon S3 servers and from what I understand they don't even allow infected files to reside on their servers so there's no possible way our software can harm your computer in any way whatsoever in fact when you're installing the software there may be occasions where you'll see like your Norton antivirus or something like that come up with a warning saying this is not a trusted company or whatever. You don't have to worry about those warnings. Those are all false positives. There's definitely nothing wrong with our software. And if that happens, all you have to do is just temporarily disable your antivirus, install the software, then re-enable your antivirus and it will just work just fine. Our software is basically all it does is gathers information from Amazon and also um, checks our servers to make sure you purchased and they check for it checks for updates. That's basically all the software does. So it won't actually do anything at all to your computer in terms of like a, a virus would do, like delete files or something strange like that. So you don't have to worry about that. So once you've downloaded your computer on, on Windows, what we need to do is we need to extract the setup file from the zip file. So the setup file is contained in something called a zip file. A zip file is just a compressed file that has stuff in it. That's all it is. In Windows it's really simple to extract a zip file. All you have to do is just right click the file and you'll see extract all. You click that and now it tells you where do you want to extract the contents of this file. You don't have to touch anything just click extract and it should create another folder that's named the exact same as the zip file and it puts the contents inside of that folder and it actually opens up another window for you but if I just move that out of the way you'll see over here that it created this folder if you double click and go in here this is the setup file and now to set up the software all you need to do is just double click this here and as you can see right now my Windows computer is saying hey look um, Maybe it's going to be, this is an unrecognized app, maybe you shouldn't install it, but like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. So all you have to do in this particular case is just click more info and then run anyways. And I'm using Windows 10. I'm not sure in other Windows uh, computers will even display this, but you may have an antivirus software come up or something like that. But don't worry about it, just temporarily disable it and install the software. Everything will run fine. So go ahead and run anyways. And just simply click the next, next next 
next and finish and now it will install the software in your computer and add an icon to your desktop so you can see here this is the icon so if I go ahead and double click that so when you first bring up the software it's going to ask you to enter in the email that you use to purchase the software and when you purchase it on the order page there is a there's going to be a, there was a box that you had to enter in an email where you wanted the software to be delivered to or what um, where you wanted the product to be delivered to or you would have been asked for your PayPal email so it's either the email that you stuck in for where you want it to be sent to or you can try your PayPal email as well so enter that email into here and click register and it will automatically unlock so I'll go ahead and do that And once you do that, it'll tell you that it's been registered. You click OK. And now you got full access to the software. And that's how you install the software on a Windows PC. And again, this applies for all of the other software as well contained in Amosuite.